Hey friends, it's Travplay, here to help you in your journey to Elite Smash. And today I'm going to show you how to beat the leader of the Star Fox team, Fox McCloud. Like always, I'll show you what moves to respect and what weaknesses to exploit. Let's get right into it. The first thing you need to respect about Fox is his overall speed. He has the 5th fastest dashing speed, 3rd fastest walking speed, 32nd fastest air speed, 21st highest air acceleration, and the fastest falling speed. And on top of that, most of his moves start very fast and have little inlap. What this means is Fox is the iconic rushdown character, overwhelming you with attacks and combos faster than most characters and players can react. So you need to be on your guard and be ready to keep up with Fox's pace or he'll run right over you. To match his playstyle, keep your character moving. Don't hold still and shield too often, and hold on to your slow smash attacks. You'll need to hit him with quick tilts, jabs, and aerials most of the time. Fox is a combo master. So many of his tilts and grabs lead into combos, many of them unavoidable. His dash attack is great at punishing a whiff, and it hits up to lead to more combos. And not only do his combos deal a lot of damage, but they can lead to KOs too. So you need to be ready to break out of these combos before you end up in a combo highlights montage on Twitter. Who's gonna run off and try to hit you with something you certainly didn't see coming? No way. That's another one. Oh, oh no! Way. To break out of a combo, you typically want to hold your L stick up and away from Fox. This is called DI, directional influence, and it helps to drift away from Fox, making his combo follow-ups barely miss. Sometimes you may need to throw in an air dodge to escape, but don't use that carelessly because Fox often anticipates it. Against a good Fox, you'll need to mix up your DI so it doesn't catch on to your habits. Almost all of Fox's combos lead to his most reliable KO move, his up smash. Sometimes this move makes me feel like I'm a kid again playing Street Fighter 2, trying over and over to beat Gaio in his stupid backflip kick. Fox's up smash has a wide range above and in front of him, and it comes out extremely fast. Most of the time he'll use it on you at the end of a combo or as a hard read. You need to make sure you're not playing too predictably, always doing the same thing. That'll keep him from making those hard reads. Respect Fox's aerials. First and foremost, respect his neutral air, or nair. It's a fast kick he uses to protect his landing, poke around your shield, ledge trap, and of course, lead into combos. Your best bet is to shield and then move, preferably with a short hop, toward or away from him. Most characters can't attack out of shield faster than Fox can attack out of his nair. Fox's forward air carries you forward, dealing lots of damage, but its knockback isn't too good. His back air is fast and deadly, so watch out. His down air doesn't spike, but it has a multi-attack, which is effective against shields. And his up air juggles really well, and can KO. If you're above Fox, try to, try to dodge this move and get back to the stage safe. Fox's jab is very fast, and it's one of the things he always does when he lands with his nair. Nair, jab. Nair, jab. Nair, jab. You get it. If you shield to the end of his jab, you have to react quick to punish, otherwise you'll miss. Smash attacks are usually too slow, so use a dash grab, dash attack, or a long reach attack. Fox's blaster deals zero knockback and only 1% damage each hit, so Fox mostly uses it to force you to play his game. He won't let you stay back and camp on him, he wants you up close. And to add to that, Fox has a reflector, so that prevents projectile characters from camping on him. He can also use it to break combos and mix up his fall speed. As a Link main, my favorite tactic against the Reflector is to make him think he's safe against my bomb, when he's really not. Fox Illusion is a fast, linear teleporting move. He mostly uses it to recover, but sometimes he uses it on stages and mix up. It will hit you upward, which can lead to juggling. If you shield this move, he will not go through you, unlike other Smash Bro games. Fox's final smash is where he calls Team Star Fox to join the fight for a brief moment, dealing lots of damage. You see this target right there? That is exactly where Fox can hit you with this move. So stay behind or far away from him and you're safe. Before you get into the weaknesses, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. I'd really appreciate it and it helps a ton. Fox's greatest weakness is his survivability. First off, even though he falls faster than everyone else, he is the fifth lightest character in the game and he's taller than most characters that light, meaning he's easier to hit. And when he gets hit, he soars. And on top of being a lightweight, his recovery is very weak, 
But I'll get to that later. Fox struggles against heavy hitters. He can deal lots of damage on them with a dozen combos, but then it's all over. Another weakness you probably didn't expect is that Fox struggles to KO. It doesn't seem to make sense when I mentioned earlier all the different KO options he has. But here's the problem. Most of his KO moves, such as smash attacks, back air, and up air, all require specific setups or hard reads. Not very reliable, especially at high percents. Again, this is where Fox struggles against heavy hitters. This is probably why Nairo is able to beat Light with Ganondorf. Since Fox relies on those setups and hard reads, he can often become predictable. He often tries to set up the combos the same way or make a lot of the same hard reads. Sometimes he'll get it, but if you take a moment and catch on to his habits, then adapt to your playstyle, you'll come out on top. For example, most of the time when I play Fox, he'll take the first stock. But the whole time, I'm watching him, I'm gathering data. Then as the match goes on, his combos don't land like they used to, and his KO moves miss. That's because I can anticipate them, and I take the offensive, exploiting his lightweight weaknesses, like so. Fox's grab is fast, but his throws are weak. None of them KO early, and if you DI right, they don't lead into true combos. Do your best to avoid any follow-up attacks. And to Fox's final weakness, his recovery. Although he has two options to recover, his side B and up B, they're weak because they're linear and predictable. You can easily beat his side B off stage, and his up B will lose to a strong dunk. Fox knows his recovery is predictable, so he'll do his best to mix it up. He'll side B and up B at different times to throw you off. You can beat this by playing the same game. Go off the ledge, then come back. That will bait him to side B, and then you can attack him. So instead of guessing when he's going to move, make him guess when you're going to come out. And now, let's have fun beating Fox. What do you think of Fox? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for the many requests of which characters make a video of next. Keep them coming. And don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys are awesome, and I'll see ya.